Jay from Ecotech Marine, and I have some exciting news regarding our Radeon lineup as we go into June 2020. So back when we had the Radeon G4, we had a diffuser accessory, and when it came to the G5, we designed the fixture to include a diffuser right from the get-go. So here they are. There is an XR15 version and an XR30 version. These will fit both the pro and blue model fixtures. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with what a diffuser does, it basically takes the light coming out of the fixture and it breaks it up even more for better color mixing and more even spread. Now the G5 already has optics, it has LEDs, LED placement, all designed around achieving that exact goal. But for those of you looking for even more of that, even though it's with a slight reduction in par, that's where the diffusers come in. Now you may have noticed there's two installed behind me on this tank, but I'm gonna show you real quick just how easy it is to get these on so that you can go ahead and try them out for yourself. With the diffuser, all you do is you take it, line it up with the bottom of the fixture, put it in place, and the magnets on the diffuser and the magnets that are already in the Gen 5 will hold it in place. One of the things that you should do whenever you change your aquarium lighting particularly if your tank is dialed in and doing well, is take a PAR reading before and after. Now you may not have a PAR meter, you can sometimes borrow one. If you don't, I'm gonna show you in a minute what the relative adjustment factor for the diffuser versus no diffuser on the G5 is. But if you can take a PAR reading, that is very valuable. If you can't, then at least pay attention to your corals to see how they respond. So let me just get my PAR meter and show you what the difference is between no diffuser and diffuser. Okay, just to show you real quick what kind of impact using the diffusers is gonna have on the PAR, if any, what we're gonna do is go ahead and turn our lighting up here to 100%. So that's 100% on all channels. Right now we have the diffuser on. So if we put our PAR meter in here, we'll pick a spot down here on the sand bed where we can leave it in place. Diffusers on, we're showing a par of somewhere between 270 and 280. So if we take the diffuser off, now we're showing a par of around 290 to 300. Now again, this is with the lights on completely. I'm a little off center from the fixture down at the sand bed. So still more than enough but you are seeing, what's that, somewhere in the region of a couple percent reduction in PAR. So the best way to do this is using a PAR meter, but you, uh, you can be assured that putting anything in the way of the light is gonna reduce the PAR somewhat. Okay, that's it. Hopefully this video was helpful to you and look out for the diffusers starting in June.